Alright, hello once again YouTube. That's more Factorio. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. It's been a little bit. I've once again lost track of what we're doing. I think... Is it oil? We've got been research, lab research, fertilizer. I think we're going to set up air processing as well, because we don't have many trees. But was that just the reason we're doing that? Did we need it for that? I can't remember. But anyway, yeah, I think we were going to set up oil, and I think we were going to set up trains to get it, because it's down here. And I believe the idea was, yeah, I think it was concrete. I think it was concrete we were going to do next. Once we get access to a certain uh, upgrade, we'll be able to actually have the machines, uh, the self-repair towers, fix the walls as well, but, or like, uh, replace the walls if they are breached. Alright, uh, till it, no. How is that iron spider? Yeah, that was it. I was going to run iron up from the, I was going to run iron and copper up from the bottom plants because we're already kind of using the supply we have down there. Um, but we're trying to make stuff over there, so it's kind of a bit awkward, but hey ho. Yeah, if we go one of those, one of those, and we'll grab a bunch of track, uh, tracks, belts in a minute. Uh. Oh god, how am I going to get them up from here? Uh, oh yeah, it's not big enough, we're going to have to... That's a good question, actually. How are we going to get that over there? If we did bridge, we could just leave it there, but that's not really what we want. Um, hmm. We should need to get it across there, don't we, I suppose? Uh, we could always go... Yeah, actually, yeah, the best thing might be to go... Have this right across to here. Let's have this go up from there instead, and just go across there. Yeah, that'll do it. And the master of spaghetti. Uh, right, let's go grab some more belts. We should have a bunch being made on the research line over here somewhere. Yes, we'll start with we'll start with uh, concrete. Then we'll move on to um, train. To the train stuff. I think we'll need to set up uh, track production. Ah, why are these slowing down? Ah, because the plates coming through. Oh dear. Wait, what? Oh, there's so few coming through. Oh, it's good. We're getting sucked away for this. Ah, it's because they're all getting sucked away for ammunition. That is fair. We do need the ammunition. And the belt is fairly full, so it shouldn't be too awful. Do we have still furnaces yet? Is that a thing we have? Yeah. These ones making? Oh, they're making steel. Yeah, they don't need to be upgraded. Right. Okay, back to the belts. Yeah, what's the best way to run them up? Probably across here, across this thin bit. We're not in the way, and we'll just run the copper up from there. Clearly making enough wire over there, at least at the moment, so. Parallel to each other. Uh. Two of those. We're literally working on an iron belt, so if we need more iron for stuff, we can just pull it off there. Again, try to keep from building anything on the mines. It's a bad form. The mining spots, I should say. Dang it. Didn't need to pick that up. Yeah, we'll have to mix up ourselves. Yes, hopefully you've all been enjoying Factorio, and I've been quite focused on it recently, for an, apart from the uh, streams, but honestly, it's just because I've been having fun with it nice feeling like I've got a bit more of a... It's like more motivation than when I normally play it on my own. I get to... Sometimes when I play it on my own, I just like get to a certain point like where I've like played to like a certain point and I just sort of stop. But with this, I've had like... I just sort of felt like it's like, yeah, I've got to... You know, I've got to keep going. What's the next thing? What's... What am I doing? It's actually been kind of nice. Good that it's ended up in the right place, but let's not pick that up. We don't need to. I get very frequent announcements that are under attack, but the walls are on for now. Oh, God, that. <laughs> Run it parallel. Now, what do we actually need for concrete? I think we need water as well, but we can just put the air. Uh... Oh. Bit, bit. 
good. Okay, we have water. Alright. Uh, I think we have concrete research already, do we? Oh, no, we're doing it now. Okay, let's go to clear those off so we don't have it. Yep, uh, iron bricks. Iron? Iron bricks, yes. Uh, stone bricks, iron rod, iron sticks. Whammy. Uh, and thing. Easy enough, right. So. Split that one off temporarily. Let's put this back in. And now we can do this. If we go. going forwards if we need it, because we might be setting more stuff up over there. I'll float onto this belt, which will then rotate around, and then pair up with this one. Put the rest of the machinery in there. Also connect to that to the main power grid that's surrounding the whole area. Just to make sure the connection's good and solid. And actually I think concrete's quite slow, isn't it? Let's make a few of these actually. So four of those. We need to put water. We'll put water in from the other side, I think. So we'll go dip, 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 dip. Put these closer. Recipe yet. Uh, let's go up one more. Okay. On the other side, we'll need water. Okay, well, we can do that. Then we can have. Yeah, we'll do it like that. So for speed, and then we'll just go about there. Those two. Confirm some more section that would be set some more tires up. I might set some more tires up there while we wait for the research to finish. Just a little apprehensive about that particular section because they're clearly focusing on it and also it's not really that heavily defended. It's a case of usually, like, you can usually kill the biters given enough time. It's just whether you can do it before they, you know, crash open whatever defences you put there. I'm not sure so that did not happen, so let's go... I guess we can do that. Oh, why those are red. Uh, oh. Yeah, you know what, let's get the last one of those. Do that. This is why our ammunition and air production is starting to work hard. Because we are using up bullets. Now, what have we got locally? We've got two clusters of nest on there, one there, one there. At least two there, and two on this side. One on that side in a group of enemies, so... It's probably long since actually gone. The radar doesn't update super constantly, I think, both for the sake of frame rate and also... Because mechanically it's supposed to take a little bit, so... Let's also actually when I think about it. It's a little box to put stuff into. Uh, oh, and water. I think water so. Uh you do a manual save as well, it's not a bad idea. Don't forget to save with any game you're playing. Yeah, that's not bad for the the first little thing we've stuck in our stuck in our new section. How does the power? Fine, we're fine. New generators are running nicely. And our production is also soon to work away. The belts are getting back up. That's good. How much steel we're making? All we've got that'll fill up at some point soonish. So we'll get a bit more coming through because of that. Maybe I 
should make more research. I have to go to research some more damage upgrades. Was that another thing we were thinking of doing? Military science? We've got access to military science. I guess we can make stuff manually for that. It's a little bit awkward to make manually because you need coal. You need that for the grenades. We could probably set that up though, right? That We could also do that today. We'll maybe do that today. We'll maybe get railways going. Ah, is that why we're waiting? Are we out of something in particular? Is that why we're waiting? What is being slow? Ah, gears. Ah, I see. Yep, we're going to need some iron. to manually feed some of those and get them kick started. It'll stop everything for a little bit, but that's fine. Here we go, machines. Heat up. Oh, is it worth merging the two iron belts? Given that it's clearly running out sometimes. But it's just stopped on that because I can't hold it to, but... It might be worth merging the two once we can. If they are running iron furnaces. Wait, can we upgrade these with... Is it the speed issue? No, I think we're perfectly matching at the moment. Yeah, because we have started using some of the red belts for some of these bits. Use a lot of iron. All the time. It's uh, getting there a little bit now. Are all still running? No, they're not even all still running, so it's definitely a shortage that's causing a problem. Bit of an injection. A bit at least. Yeah, we're kind of a little bit on the clock. Yeah, uh, because we haven't got any. Um, so we haven't got any trees to absorb the pollution for us. That's getting a bit worrying as well. They're getting close to uh, breaking through that section. Ooh. We didn't attack up there yet. So that's good, that means the defences in that corner work. They're still just about running those five labs in the bottom corner. Hmm. We'll have to halt those for a minute. We will halt those for a minute. We'll do a... we do a red one? A couple of little red ones. Not that we'll use these, but we'll try to use them at some point. Perhaps, uh, and then we do another green. If we do, yeah, what was the one we were going to do? Fertilizer. Try and get one of those bio going. I want to need a few of them. You can reduce the pollution, slow things down. Oh, and we can get these running now. No, we can't. We haven't finished it yet. And we jumped in the gun. So let's put one of these indicators on the, uh, the water line just to make sure we're. Looking good. Are they stopped or are they just working? I don't think we need a shortage. Hmm. The greenhouse is okay. Ah. I might have to go down and check those in a minute. They shouldn't have a shortage. We'll do we'll set concrete off first since that's nearly done. Yeah. Hazard stroke uh, concrete, I will say for the record. It does look better, but you basically just recolor existing concrete and make it into that, so. Yeah, this was the right thing to do, I was going to say, I remember it being slow. But you do make ten at once, so we do get quite a lot out of each craft. Which is good, because obviously it's one of these ground materials, you need a lot of it. You need some buildings. And I think, is there not really warm in concrete as well, I think? Right, let's go find out why the wood production stopped, and I'm kind of curious about that. 
And we added a fine concrete as well. Better walk speed bonus, it is. A little bit faster to walk on. I don't know. I need steel. I don't know if any buildings need that. Kind of interesting. I don't know something I'd do anything with. Right, you ran out of saplings. Did you run out of wood? Oh. <sighs> right, fair enough, that one's on me. <laughs> Weren't reaching out to the right place. Takes a little bit to fill, but it's like a five minute crafting time. I'm not going to worry too much about the fill rate on these. Uh, they're all up and running. I'll start to loot. Just made a decent amount of wood before it stopped back. Fertilizer being reset. Oh, blimey, we're through the, <laughs> through the red already, were we? Uh, see what, pause that for a minute. I was hoping to give it a bit longer to build up. So what we're researching here is Granville Vehicle Structures. These, um, they're a pretty cool idea. Uh, the idea of them is basically it will scan the environment and it can mark areas and then your other the programmable vehicles can kind of read that data and automatically like know where to go to mine and stuff. It's a very cool idea. Again, we might try to do some more with it. I might look and see if anyone's like blueprinted a good basic setup for it maybe so I don't have to work it out or at least the method for, for doing it. I think there's tutorials out there. The Miner Mark II, it's an upgraded version of the Miner, it's quicker. Say faster mining, faster driving, higher capacity, better efficiency, less pollution. Yeah, so it's better in every way. And nanobot speed. Which is useful. We do use the nanobots, so those being a bit faster would be good. Yeah, there's the zone scanner and tunnel scanner. Those are the ones that uh, give you the useful information. And the concrete. Looks. We'll set a bit up in here. Like this. So a slightly different texture than the air brakes. Personally, I think it looks a little better. And as you can see, we can run around pretty speedily on it. Turn the inside. I can, just about. We've got, we've got a folder on our, uh, on our factory floor now. Looks, it looks like one anyway. Uh, yeah, I guess that is going to be all the red. We'll just have to put that in next and wait for it. Uh, what was it we were doing? Oh, come on, it should be partially done as well. Fertilizer. That could also be a useful one to try and get when we can. Although we need oil to actually make the explosives. Yeah, do we do military science? Is that the best one to do next, actually, while, we, while that's going? We're going to do railways, but... We definitely could start doing that now. Which do I think is more important? We'd probably better set railways off. Because that, um... Making so we, can, we can run that across the magic science. We're probably better set railway tracks off because um, they can build up while we're doing other stuff. We're already crushing stone there, so. That part easy. Is that crushed stone? Yep. So, what do we need for them? Remind me, brain. Steel, iron sticks, crushed stone, and concrete. Easy. Okay, so we can run some stuff out that we've already been making. <coughs> oh, where was the. <coughs> Where's the steel? It's there, isn't it? Yeah, I guess we're running out from there. We'll run that up to meet the others. Run this one up to meet that one. Easiest way to get across here is just a leapfrog them all. It's probably just a leapfrog them all. Not like that. Okay, no. Like that. There we go. <coughs> no. <coughs> Sorry, I probably end up getting a bit paranoid and checking these too often. I see the little flashing icon and I go, oh god, what's broken now? Yep, there is still just about enough space. Let's look for a space around the lab, just in case. Okay. Let's go up there, but... 
steel is over here. We'll run that out and up around here, maybe or across this section. We could go across this section. Can I build stuff there? Yeah. Okay. We'll go across this section. We'll, we'll dig a hole through the wing. Uh, not like that ship's using it anymore, anyway. It's uh, very slightly broken. on them, but they are poles specifically. Uh, how far can we have a red one? The red underground belts can go further as well as being faster. <coughs> Move those ahead of time so we don't accidentally break anything. I need another one actually to get under here. What those built? was a splitter. <coughs> I had a feeling that was not the right one, and it was not. more reds. <clears throat> I think, I could be remembering this wrong, but I believe the reds and the yellows don't interact with each other, so you can, I think I'll fit anyway, so I'll have to go sideways, but uh, so I think you can put a red over the top of a yellow and they won't uh, like connect to each other. But I must admit, <clears throat> it's not something I do a lot or at all really, so uh, do not necessarily point me on that one. So I'll cough off everybody and grab a uh, drink of the performings. Okay. okay, so let's start on those rails. So we need another three making iron uh, poles, iron rods. What are they actually called? Iron pole and stick. I guess these are like the, the ties for the railway track. Not going to be the actual track because I assume it's the steel, but yeah, I guess it's the ties for putting them together. I probably even could just leech off of that, but if we make them independent, then we're not reliant on one. <clears throat> the, the copper can just keep going. Steel will need a minute as we well press stone. I think we just feed most of it together now, right? Kind of got everything. Especially iron stick and concrete. Yeah, we can just kind of feed them together. Uh, so, in fact, if we, what we do is go. One of these is tall, I can get it. There, are we dying? No, we're all good. specifically here is go and collect some concrete. What we'll do is we'll just split that half in storage, half to here. Yeah. We won't limit that crate because we're going to need loads of it if we want to have a base off or base properly. because the red ones are slow and we need ingredients from both belts. So we're actually going to go that. Two more. The output. You guys are going to the railway track. Then we can go 
Actually, can we just go in the middle? Does that do all of them? Yes, except for that one on the end, of course. That would be too easy. I feel like watching those belts go. Look at that. That's very quick. I didn't realise they were that fast. We could even go, at least for the end one. I could set this up for all of them, but we'll just try setting it up for just the one on the end. We could even just go... for this though. Way up like the others. Ah, that's what's using the single underground. I'd noticed that earlier. I was trying to work out what was doing it. At any rate, there we go. That's railway track being made. Not tremendously fast, but we can let it idle away in the background. A little build up before we know it. Uh, yeah, so military science will be the next thing. Because <coughs> we probably do want that up and going. Let's get those walls over here. We'll probably finish up the episode with that. But we'll get the walls actually in this section. Let's grab all that iron. We don't need more stuff. Could be the thing. Right, we'll just have those run over to about here and then just jump straight over. Uh, for the sake of simplicity here. up our walls as quite quickly but we'll see how things go. We'll also need another ingredient over here now for grenades and again we'll, we'll do this before we finish up. We need coal. Which the one's going to be okay so as long as it's connected after that. I don't want it um I do not under any circumstance want this interrupting the power but we can interrupt this is, which is really important. Uh, what do we want to run it up? In fact, if anything, it wants to go wrong way, one way the other way. I normally say don't build on these, but given we're not like in that critical need of stone, I will make an exception just this once. But it is bad form. Uh, I tell you what, actually, tell you what, actually, rather than build on the useful bit of the resource patch, let's try and stick with the whole thing of not doing that. Let's build down the middle where it's just power lines anyway, and we can't put any miners. Any useful, sweat, any useful uh, part of the mining patch. We will be able to theoretically utilize more of it later, but we've got uh, a certain research we'll have to do first on that one. Uh, <coughs> oh dear. I thought that would be a good point to jump over, but it's actually more fun than I thought. Uh, oh, we can try a bit about weaving. So if you remember what I said about, uh, I think, at least, the red and yellow don't inter uh, interact. I think what we can do here is go to there to there. Go here over the top. Is that right? Yeah, it's working. Excellent. Uh, although that does leave us outside the wood, which is not really where we want to be. So we're going to go to there. The reds must be a bit shorter than I think they are. Isn't 
Right. So, for military, we will also need... We don't actually need a lot. We will need the iron, copper, and steel. So we might even invest to... These go up here. And then move them up. Bring them up to the main belt. I do wish there was a hotkey for, like, Croft 200 or something. I suppose they're thinking you're not supposed to be <laughs> making that much stuff manually. We have fertilizer going, so that's another thing we can start next time. Uh, what do we got? Automated rail transport. We will need that. So that's signals. Uh, and you need that if you want to have more than one train on the network without uh, stuff exploding. Crashing, at least, anyway. There we go. Might be all ready for military science next time. Hey, I was a bit worried about that for a minute. That's probably what I'm going to call this episode there. Uh, I do make games as well as playing them, so if you want to support the channel, check them out. There's uh, links to all three that I've made so far in the description. You might like them. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.